Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today's video is going to be about this Graphitint paint pan set from Derwent. If you've seen uh, one of my past videos, I did an art supply haul where I talked about this. I wanted to finally open this up and take a look at the paints because they look very interesting and very autumnal, which is perfect for this time of year. So I wanted to get this video out. So this is my handmade watercolor sketchbook, which I have a whole video tutorial on how to make this, which I will link below or in the card above if you're interested in making one for yourself. But I prepared a spread in here where I'm going to do swatches of the 12 colors in the paint pan set, and then I'm going to do a color mixing chart. I have a tutorial on how to make a color mixing chart. Here is one I did with watercolor. So we're going to be doing this one where we're going to mix all the colors together to see what different kinds of other colors we can make. I've seen a couple videos of people reviewing this paint pan set, but I've not seen anyone do this kind of color chart with them. And these are granulating colors. They say they're a unique blend of graphite paint with color for dramatic tonal work. And I've really been interested in granulating paint. So I think this would be really interesting. So I'm gonna do the swatches first and then I'm gonna speed through the me doing the watercolor chart. And as I do that, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the paint set and the Graphitint pencil set that Derwent also has. So let's get into the unboxing of this paint pan set first. So here it shows the colors right on the box. So here is the paint box itself. And when you open it up, it has a swatch card and it feels almost like plasticky. Here is the paints themselves. They all look pretty dark. I'm glad they send a swatch sheet, but we're gonna also make swatches of our own. And I definitely recommend doing that because what they look like here on this swatch sheet might not be exactly what they look like when we put them on our watercolor paper, but it at least helps you know about what the color looks like and where it's located because again, it's just, they're all so dark um, to see. They come in these groups of six, which you can pop out. And it also looks like each pan individually can come out. Basically, they're just blocks sitting in there. This pocket set also includes a sponge on the side to use with your water brush. And your water brush comes in two pieces and it has a stopper right here. So what you can do is fill the water, put the stopper in so you can carry it with you. I don't know why they didn't just make this a little longer because once you take out the stopper, which again, don't throw this away, you can put your brush together and then this can be your paintbrush to use when on the go. I'm personally not a fan of water brushes, but they are handy in a pinch. So this is what it looks like all put together. And again, I don't know why they didn't make this container just like a smidge bigger. They could have scooted it over um, so the water pen could fit in put together, but seems a little odd. So you'll have to take it apart each time. And that's where the stopper comes in. So again, don't throw the stopper out, put it in, and then you can take it with you on the go. So with these being colored graphite, I don't know if they're going to have much of a sheen when I paint with them. I do not have the pencil, so I'm not familiar with how they work. So this will be a learning experience. So let's do some swatching and see how well these activate with water. So we'll start with the autumn brown. All right, it looks like they activate pretty nicely. That's a lovely color. We'll have to see how they dry. So I wanna put in a thick layer and kind of thin it out so we get an idea of the gradation. 
there. I hope that's a little better. All right, so now we're moving on to russet. Reminds me of a russet potato. <laughs> Next we have meadow. Oh, that's brighter than I thought it was going to be. I'm going straight across now to green gray. This is slate green. The swatch looks very blue, so yeah, see, this is why you do swatches. So this is a lot more like a Payne's gray, whereas a swatch makes it look pretty icy blue. I mean, it's still a beautiful color. It's just pre-made swatches can be deceiving. This one is an ocean blue. That one's very pretty. This one's kind of like an indigo color. Now we're starting the second row with steel blue. And now this is where I hope I didn't mix colors up. And I don't think I did. That looks similar to the swatch. Oh, here's a dark indigo. Oh my gosh, I was out of frame. I am so sorry. Next we have Juniper. These flow really well, like watercolors. Next we have Port. And then lastly, we have graphite gray. I think it's a great palette, honestly. It's very moody and textural. So here's a close up. I'm really enjoying these colors. Okay, so here they are fully dry, and I'm really impressed. I thought there was going to be this, like, really big sheen or bright sheen from lights because it's graphite, but I really don't see anything, and I laid it on pretty thick in some places, and I don't see any sheen, if I'm being honest, and they just, they look beautiful. Um, I'm going to test rubbing my finger on them because again, it says graphite, and it does come off a little bit. I don't know if you can see my finger. So it did come off, that was the red. Um, let me do the blue. So it came off a little bit, but honestly not, not a whole lot. And I mean like I was rubbing, so maybe just like, yeah, they're, they're hardly, they hardly come off. I mean, you have to rub it a good amount. So, I mean, it, that's just something to keep in mind if you want to purchase some spray to seal it. You can do that because again, it is graphite, but I think they're pretty good unless you know it's gonna be rubbing something. I may, because in my sketchbook with the pages rubbing against each other, I may place a um, sheet of wax paper or tracing paper or something in this section of my sketchbook just to be safe. So now I'm going to move on to the mixing chart portion. I did label all the colors down the side and that's the same order I'm going to keep it in. I'm going to speed this part up and then talk a little bit more about these paint pans and the graphitin pencils Derwent has. I'm going to be using this tiny mixing area to mix my colors and we'll see how that goes. It's not a big area. If I need to get out a palette, I can. Switching over to voiceover Jessica here. Um, I wanted to say that you already see one column filled in because I accidentally did it incorrectly. I went down the line and put 
the colors just by themselves and I forgot to mix in the autumn brown color in that first column. So you can see at the top of my sketchbook, I wrote out the list of colors along the top just to remind myself to mix it with that color where the squares meet. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, again, just check out the tutorial I made about how to make this kind of color mixing chart. But when I realized I made a mistake and I tried to lift the colors off of the page, they were very staining. I tried to put water on my brush and scrub as much color off as I could and dabbed it with some paper towels, but they definitely stained the paper, so that's just something to keep in mind. After I did that, I did go back down the line with the autumn brown and then layer over top, which it did give a tint of autumn brown, and I can say that they do layer, but yeah, so that was just a mistake on my part. But anyways, continuing on through the chart, I did just use the little mixing palette and it worked just fine. But again, they do have a lot of staining qualities and it did stain the palette, so that's just something to be aware of. And the reason they are staining is because they are made with dyes. I was looking up information to see if they had pigments or what the components were that made up these paint pan sets, as they call it, and I went on Derwent, Derwent's website and found that they were part of a specific blue wool test, and so I kind of googled what that is, and it's a light fastness test for dyes specifically, so that's how I know they are dye-based. Now, Derwent has the Graphitin pencil set, which you may or may not know of, so the Derwent Graphitin pencil sets actually come in packs of 6, 12, and 24. And I think it would be really neat if they ended up coming out with a 24 pan paint set because as you've heard me say, I just, I really enjoy these colors. The only thing I wish they had was more of a yellow color. I will also link the PDF document that Derwent has regarding the blue wool test to evaluate the light fastness and it gives a rating for each of the colors. It says a scale of 1 to 8 is obtained with values of 6 or higher being considered to be highly light fast and under museum conditions will not fade for 100 plus years. All in all, I thought this mixing chart was pretty interesting. You do get a wide array of colors. If you are looking to do a painting, it was quite messy by the end of this, having graphite on my hands and my table. You'll just want to be careful not to smear the graphite on your artwork. So here is the color chart, all completed and fully dried. And you can see there's little to no sheen on these swatches. I was thinking about doing a painting, but I didn't want to make this video too much longer, so this will be the end of the video. I hope this was interesting and informational and that you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!